Hi, I'm Auntie James. And I'm Auntie Robert. And today we're going to be answering your agony aunt questions. 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 We're here for you all and we just want you to be well. Questions. Questions. We ask you over on Instagram for your burning life questions and we're here to support those questions. And we're going to make you a soup afterwards. Yes, made out of foraged picky bits from the woodlands. I'm going to put them on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the white underneath. Yeah. Like a Titanic hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we take our first quest? Mm. Yes, let's take a look at our first quest. Mm. We're so sorry. I was ghosted by a boy I was seeing for eight months. How do I not let this affect my confidence? You know what I often see um, ghosting to be? Yeah. I think, I think a lot of people think it's a problem with them. Mm. So there must be something I did or something they don't like about mm. me. Um, that's why they're ignoring me. But what mm. I feel it usually is, is the person doing the ghosting thought they were ready for something that they actually weren't. No, I'm not. They, they panic. They probably had a, a great day, night, whatever with you. The next day they're like, oh my God, is this too much too soon? This isn't for me. Maybe I'm they panicking. don't like me. Yeah, they're not in the right frame of mind to start dating or being in a relationship, even though they thought they might have That's been. a very long time to be with us. That's almost a year. Oh, it was eight months. Yeah. But you know what? Maybe they're like you thought about it, like maybe this is getting too fast, too serious, and they just don't have the guts to tell you. Yeah. One of the main things that you should be happy for is that it happened now. And I know eight months is a long time. There's be There's got to be better things out there for you. And that's all that's coming your way. Goodness. Good news. Things happen for a reason. Reasman. Reasman. I feel, I, I blame them. Not you. There's a problem with them. Not, not you. Thank you for your question. That probably helped a lot. Can we have a look at the next question? Let's have a look at the next question. How can I always be happy and ready to seize the day? Like my idol, Jackie. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, basically ignore everything and anything and be insufferable. Yeah, just just be like, wake up, have a, you know, you know, have a, have a, you know, a green drink. Yeah, put magnesium, zinc. But also, don't try to have a good day. And don't yeah. try to seize the day. Yeah. And then you probably just will anyway. Yeah, so what? So what if you can't seize the day, you know Aren't I mean? we all just human? Uh, except from us. We are toadstool. Yes. I don't believe in getting up at 5am and journaling I don't believe, and all that I don't shit. believe in that. Up at 5am. I was, uh, and all oh, my whole day is finished before 9am. It's like, no, it isn't. Well, now, you have to, now you have to fill that day with productivity. When Unless you work a night shift, I don't see the point. Work the night like, shift. why would you want to be awake when no one else is to get shit done? And then you have a whole day to do what? Sit around and be like, oh, now I'm not doing anything. I'm and, wasting my day. And then you're tired by seven. And then you've like, you've done the full circle. You've done a full circle 160. Now you've just got a new problem. 90 degrees. I hope that answered your question. That probably really helped. What do you do slash say when your friend knows her man treats her so poorly, but won't leave him? I feel like this is a common thing that do you know what? Mm. If you're ever in a situation where he does it in front of you, yeah. there's nothing better or worse at the same time than hearing it play back to you. If he's speaking disrespectful, record mm. it, play it back so she can hear it from another, oh, he, she, whoever, can hear it from another point of view. Mm. I think, you know, make a list. Or if he says something disrespectful to them in front of you, you say, say that again to the person who's disrespecting. Think about Make it, them repeat it, it like again. three times. And if they're like, why are you making, just, just making sure that you're hearing how disrespectful you're being and understand what you're saying. And then let's say your friend is called Cursey, but like, come on Cursey, let's go. Let's go. It's hard to speak to friends about things like that when um, it happens a lot. It's hard to kind of give advice about them thinking it's a personal attack. I guess some relationships are just habits. Very important. What can I do to remember to drink enough water? There's many, many an app for, set, for this question. Set an alarm that goes off every half an hour. 
that says water. 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 To tattoo, tattoo it on your wrist, water. No, I won't do that. Water. I won't do that. Tattoo that on your wrist, water. W-A-T-H-L-E-R. Yeah, or join a water su- um, support group. group. You all hold each other, each other, you all hold each other accountability. <laughs> And you message each other every so often and be like, guys, water, water. drink your wine, take a sip of water. You all get the same bottle, you know, everyone's ever time's on. And it's like, you're nearly there. You get nice ones from Etsy that say, like, water gals. A really good hack is to buy a bottle of water. How do I handle my preteen daughter's attitude? Like this. (laughs) (laughs) Whenever they give you attitude, be like, you're not that great. Yeah, I'll be like, excuse me. I'll be like, who? I'll be like, who? First of all, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Just do this. Yeah, and I'd be like, obviously, it's like all preteens do. They have this attitude problem. Yeah, and I'll be honest. I think some of the worst behaving children we grew up with were those who felt like they were most under control. Yeah. That's not to mean be super relaxed and laid back about everything mm. and try and be like mm. a cool parent. Mm. It just means to not be like, that's it, give me your phone. That's it. That's it, I'm taking your door away. No internet for you. Yeah. I think the best way to deal with it is to kind of but just I, laugh at them. Yeah. Or repeat, be have an attitude with me. Yeah, make a list. Oh, you want me to have an attitude yeah. with you? Tell me something to give you an attitude about. Um, I won't let you have this powder because you're wearing too much of it. Well, at least I wear makeup, unlike some people who just look old. That's because you're dusty and crusty as fuck. That kind of thing. <laughs> I hope that answered your question. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, just, just be a little bit like... Be like nobody speaks like that anymore. That's so weird. Why yeah, so that's weird? so weird. Why are you do it? Oh, yeah. So They'd be weird. like anyway, then carry on trying to be normal. With yeah. Them. Well, if I have an attitude of them, you look at you look at them like a make them think there's something else going on. Like look at their hair. Yeah. And be like, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> have an attitude. Of okay. Give me something to give you an attitude about. I won't eat wear this powder anymore because you're wearing too much. Why? Because at least I wear makeup. You you see, I was instantly thrown off. Oh. Treat them like a dog. Ignore the bad behaviour. Yeah. Reward, reward the good, good. behaviour. Sit. Have an attitude of me. Okay, can you say to give you an attitude about? <laughs> you wear intent to this family. At least I wear me. Quiet! Quiet! That's me clapping, not smacking. I'm clapping my hands. Quiet! I, I personally don't clap at dogs. And then <laughs> dog owning bitch. Wait. So you're having a um, go at me. So treat I would say watch some oh, okay, what about? Give me powder. Some, give you a go powder, about. you're wearing too much powder. <laughs> oh, at least I wear powder. Quiet! Well done. Well done. Here's a chunk of freeze-dried meat. Auntie, I've... <laughs> How did they know? How did you know? I've been feeling very gassy lately. You know, just like... Oh, because I said aunties. Oh. Um, you know, just like with your IBS, any remedies? I do, I do. Should we share? We, we are not several. doctors, but we are, do, I would please say... Please do not take this like as a, a Like a witch doctor, almost, but with toadstools. Uh, yes, other than eating the right side of the mushroom, yes. there's a few things you can try, please. Um, lactate enzyme, which I find just good in general, even if you're not eating lactate. <laughs> Peppermint tablets. Digestive tea. Here's, okay, say me and James are sitting down to a lovely meal of pizza. Extra cheese. Extra cheese. Routine. Lactate enzyme. Peppermint tablet. Peppermint oil tablet for that you're meant to eat. Eat my pizza. Straight after. Peppermint tablet. Digestive tea. I struggle with proteins and red meat. Sorry. So I'll take a digestive enzyme. The power of peppermint with IBS is... Oh, phenomenal. I I will say, though, I don't like it because of the spicy bum hole. You get very cold poo poos. Very minty bum hole. We hope that answered your question. Quiet! <laughs> My partner thinks it's fair to split rent bills 50-50, but I don't. He makes three times more than me. What do? What to do? I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yes, you both live in the house, but if you're a partnership and you're trying to achieve the same goal, which is paying bills. On time. On time. Uh, you should you should pay less than this person who makes more. Yes. Surely there, you there want should each other to live comfortably. Mm. Yeah, so for example, the person that earns more should we pay the rent and bills, and then maybe you do the food shop, you know? Depending on, you know, how... It's sunk in my hair for now. A cup of hair just for <laughs> Depending... <laughs> <laughs> you know, 50-50 is fair in situations where you both make 
50 50. Mm-hmm. But not like if James came, if we were living together and James made a million pounds a month and I made 2,000 pounds and James was like, let's just split it. No, I'd be like, like no. this fool. So I think you need to sit down and have a conversation and be like, <laughs> Look, let's look at bills. Look, let's look, let's look at, at bills. bills. I mm. want you to see how much I'm left with each month after perhaps you pay for food sometimes and it's not f- well planned out. Maybe they should pay more for food. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. Go for have your a bills chat, have a little and be like, chat. yeah, be mm. like, listen, I'm left with £700 this month. And yeah. then they might be like, oh shit, that's really, like, like, compared to what I make, that's not great. Let's talk let's about Let's talk it. about that. I hope that answered your question. I think we did it. I am pregnant of twins. What should I do? So they are as funny as you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Really good question. I think a- an outfit like this would be the, a photo yeah. shoot. Born them into an outfit. Born them into an outfit that makes no sense. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is um, give them brain activities to do every so often. Keep them creative. Explore their needs and wants. Don't let them watch like um, programs that aren't funny. Like a Young Sheldon. Like Friends or Young Sheldon. Sorry, oh, everyone's gonna have a go at me at Friends. I quite like Friends. It gets less funny every it time does, I watch it. It goes on. Young Sheldon's actually quite entertaining. In what way? Um, Big Bang Theory isn't funny. In what way? We hope that answered your question. I think, yeah. How on earth am I meant to cook rice? It always goes mushy or crunchy. Shit. 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 Get a rice so cooker and get... follow the instructions. Yeah, or you can get those bags. Microwave bags. We have the answer to your question. I once burnt <laughs> rice that's stuck to the bottom of a pan. I've done that with pasta Yeah, as well. I've done that with microwave um, rice yeah. packets. You can fry rice if you prefer it crunchy. If we don't know how to cook, I'm so sorry. We forage. We forage we for forage. our goods. We, we eat leaves. What is rice? How will I know if my job is not for me or if I'm just bored? Or does being bored give the answer? That's a mm. toughy one. It depends what you want from your job. Do you like to be challenged? Do you just do it for money? Or well, everyone just works for money, but is that the main point? Or do does it fulfill you? I will say it's okay to work in a job that just gives you money and you not enjoy it. Yeah. As long as it's not the biggest stress on your life and yeah. they're they're treating you fine. Yeah, I mean it's preferably a... you'll do something you enjoy, but sometimes yeah, but you sometimes know. you can't. Yeah. Sometimes people don't and they just wanna have a wage each month and live month by month, which is Fine. Fine. What ask your manager, what Further opportunities are there in this job? In this role. job for me, I want to do more, and they'll probably respect you a lot. Be like, I love this company. I don't feel challenged. Mm. What can I do to help you that would challenge me some? And then, if you really feel like there's nothing, move on. I have five boyfriends and don't know which one to choose. Um, put their names in the hat. Which one dies first? And let me stay with the one that's left. No, that's not what I was. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I just meant put the names in the hat and pick out Make one and go with that drinks, one. Make five drinks, poison four of them with, with un- undercooked rice. Uh-huh. Bre- no, cooked rice. Cooked rice. That's gone cold. That's gone cold. And then you put it in the fridge and then you've tried to cook it again or something. Think of something I could give them diarrhea, right? Then Russian roulette it with the drinks. Uh, the one who doesn't have, diarrhea. doesn't have diarrhea is not for you. Perhaps do challenges in your own mind, right? So I'll be like, <laughs> it's my birthday soon. Pretend it is, just pretend it is. Um, what should we do? Ask all of them. Yeah. Or be like, oh my God, so what's the date today? Be like, oh, you know what? The 10th of April is a really big day for me. And don't really go into too much detail. And yeah. see who remembers that date. And see who comes to you on that date. And see who comes to you on the 10th of April. Yeah, and see, it'd be like, oh. Hope you're okay today. And they're going through challenges in your, in your mind. Yeah, or be like, oh God, I'm craving microwave rice sachet. I'm jonesing for something microwavable, quick, quick microwavable. And then see who, who caters to that and yeah. your needs. Yeah. I, I do wonder how many girlfriends do they have? Yeah, but also how about you laugh at something that's really not funny? But then the people that leave you are the right ones. They, yeah. yeah. Laugh at like, I don't know, say something, make Take them to see Shrek story. 2 and whoever enjoys Take them to <laughs> Shrek 2, laugh like out of control through the whole thing. And whoever laughs with you, get, get rid, rid of them. Get rid of them. You want the ones who are doing this. Yeah. Who are like, I support you, but this isn't funny yeah. in any way. I don't know anybody that laughs at Shrek 2, yeah. the musical. Well, we hope that answered your question. Please send us, ask us some agony aunt questions down below. And we'll get back to you and help help you move on in life or succeed in whatever you want to do. That's it from me, Auntie James. And from me, Auntie Roberts. I'll see you next time. That we're in a forest. And the wind is blowing so cold 
and we're here to help you through come you and oh, agony james and agony robert do, do you think yeah <laughs> and we're here to help you through come you and oh, agony james and agony robert